Kenya has finalized a deal that was entered into last year with the United States pharmaceutical company Moderna to establish a vaccine facility in Nairobi. The one-of-a-kind facility worth 500 million U.S. dollars will produce vaccines for Kenya and supply other African countries as well. President William Ruta made the announcement during the American Chamber of Commerce Regional Business Summit at a hotel here in Nairobi after jetting back to the country. Here's Emily Chebet with more. One year after Kenya entered into a deal with the United States pharmaceutical company Moderna, President William Ruto has announced the finalization of the agreement with Kenya's government to partner and bring the mRNA manufacturing facility. The new facility aims to manufacture up to 500 million doses of vaccines annually that will boost the country's need as well as supply to the African continent. Because of this facility and what we had to put in it, I've never had as many sleepless nights <laughs> and so much trouble from Ambassador Meg Whitman, <laughs> I am very happy that finally this is done. This will be the only such facility on the African continent. And for Moderna, their first factory outside the United States. Shannon Kleiner, Moderna's chief legal officer and corporate secretary, signed the deal virtually from the U.S. on behalf of the company. Klinger said the partnerships of this kind are essential in exploring the possibility of mRNA to tackle the world's greatest public health crisis. And it is grounded in our commitment to being part of the ecosystem that supports the public health needs of Kenya and all people across the African continent. This agreement is a key pillar of Moderna's global public health strategy. With it, we will bring mRNA innovation to Africa to address the areas of high unmet need, such as acute respiratory infections, as well as persistent infectious diseases like HIV and outbreak threats such as Zika and Ebola. The Memorandum of Understanding for the project was signed between Moderna and the Kenyan government in March 2022. I look forward to all that is ahead of us as we work together to positively impact human health. According to the reports, the company will pump up to 70 billion Kenya shillings of investment into the project. Emily Chebet, is NTV, Nairobi.